Welcome back. A bill in the Unicam could make big changes to workers' compensation, helping people who suffer mental injuries while on the job. Our Johan Marin tells us how it would affect workers in the metro. An active shooter at a West Omaha Target store, a shooting at a Bellevue Sonic restaurant left two workers dead, two violent acts that left employees with mental scars. I am so sick and tired of every single time there is any kind of violence, we hear the thoughts and prayers, and then we hear the stories about, well, we need to address mental health issues. Well, here's an opportunity. As of right now, the state only gives workers compensation for physical injury, but not a mental health injury. That's why Senator Carol Blood has introduced LB5. Those who suffer PTSD or related mental health injury in the workplace could receive help. You have to be diagnosed by a medical professional in order for it to be covered under workman's comp. And you have to actually be present at the incident for it to be covered by workman's comp. I don't differentiate a, a mental injury from a, a physical injury. Justin Hubley's with NAPE, a union that represents 8,000 government employees in Nebraska. He says he hears stories every day from employees concerned for their safety and thinks a bill like this is important. However, it is a safety net to know that I can file a claim should, should the need arise. While some opponents think this would be costly, Blood says not giving workers the help they need could cost businesses and institutions more. This time that we updated um, our workman's comp statutes here in Nebraska to make sure that we actually help those who need help at the front end. On your side, Johan Marin, 6 News. The Business and Labor Committee plans to vote on the bill next week.